Hundreds of people send a message to the folks behind a KKK sign on a building. They say, not in our town. The whole uproar is over a KKK meeting hall sign that suddenly appeared on a historic building in downtown Dahlonega on Thursday. Well, tonight we've learned the owner of that building wants the sign back up there. Now, Fox 5's Jacqueline Schultz joins us live in downtown Dahlonega tonight. And Jacqueline, people are puzzled by why the owner would want that sign there. Yeah, a lot of people and the whole town is asking that question tonight. Why the owner would want the sign on the building that says that the city says that she wants it back on the building. She has not called us back to tell us exactly why, but hundreds tonight walked around downtown Dahlonega to send a message that they do not want a hateful message on any part of their downtown. From the turnout of the crowd to signs carried by protesters. Our town is not what that sign said. Hundreds send the owner of the old Piazza building in downtown Dahlonega a message after this KKK historic meeting hall sign appeared Thursday and was abruptly taken down by the city. I think that there's no place for hate in our town. Thursday, people were outraged and puzzled who could be behind the stunt. The sheriff of Lumpkin County now says the owner approved it and the city manager says the owner even wants the sign back up and had an associate start the process for a permit. We tried but could not get a hold of the owner to hear her side. And we recognize and affirm her right for freedom of speech, but certainly it's not going to happen without a fight. According to local newspaper, the Dahlonega Nugget, the owner has tried and failed to tear down historic property she owns downtown and turn it into a hotel. Whatever the, the purpose would be for hanging such a thing, uh, it doesn't matter. It's, it's what happened and how it makes people feel. Now, city officials tell me that the city cannot regulate the nature of any sign because it is free speech, but they do tell me that it could be a process even getting the sign to be on the building. We're going to tell you more on News Edge at 11 about that ordeal, but for now, reporting live in downtown Dahlonega, Jacqueline Schultz, Fox 5 News. Well, quite a turnout there. Jacqueline, thanks.